What a match so far. And Sonny, I'm going to let you pick it. Who do you want to open up this next game with? I'd like to start out with Shockwave. After that performance right there, basically getting his team on his back, I, I think we want to start out with him. I mean, I, you know, we've been watching a lot of triggers down. Let's start with some shock. The captain it is. So here it is. It's King of the Hill Construct. If you don't know how it works yet, you never will. <laughs> 250 sec or 250 seconds of time, you'll win it. You know, whatever. I'm done. Rockets, <laughs> overshields, fun. Let's begin. <laughs> Puck gets all amped up, and you can see why. Carbon with a huge comeback in the final seconds there. Scott. Is that enough? Can they feed off of that to carry them the rest of the way in this series? It's enough, but they're going to they're gonna need to focus on this game. They can't look back at that game and say, look, we did, we made a comeback here. They need to have a lead in this one because triggers down, this is everything they love. They love the overshield, they love rockets, and they love sniping, and we watched them earlier dominate this game. Yeah, Hysteria seems to be really at home on this map. I've seen him do things that nobody else seems to be able to do. Long range BR, sniping. Um, who's the key player, though, for, for, Shockwave, or for Shockwave and the rest of Carbon? Who's the guy on that squad who's got to step it up in order for them to have a shot at taking down Trigger? Defy you know, was the only quiet one. I gotta, I just got to cut in here. Defy was the only quiet person last game. I think, you know, I'm watching him right now. He's heating up with the sniper rifle. He picked up quite a bit of hill time to start this one up. He's doing exactly what I needed out of Defy. Because yesterday we were talking about this, about how much he went off in some of those Slayer games. He was just a, a player on fire, it seemed like. Between him and Nated, they were just slaying everything that moved. So I got to agree with you. I think Defy is going to be the key for Carbon. And we saw in the Team Slayer game that Carbon was playing earlier on this map, Nated and Defy were pushing so well together all game long. Let's see if they will continue to do that because they seem to be running as a pair last time. And Defy is ca he's just catching fire with that sniper rifle. Another one, another one, And we're going to listen in with the Carbon squad. They're getting fired up here. Basement spawn. C1, C1 after that. O1 and C1, I think. Last two guys. O1. Lifted. One side, one side. C3. Alright, stay live, Brad. No one, O3. Might chase me, I don't know. Guys, after two minutes, I don't think the fight has died. I'm going, I'm going for him. Really? Yeah, you may be right. He got the Wait. opening sniper. Yeah, is, is he running laps? Yeah. Oh, you well, jinxed there we go. I jinxed it. Yeah. But still, but, this, but obviously, Scott, you know this. The key to Halo 3, almost above having a good shot, is being able to stay alive. Yes. Right? We talk about that time and time again. It gives your team such an advantage if you don't die that often. So Defy doing what he's, we said he needed to, being a positive contributor to Carbon right now. But don't, don't take that, folks at home, as just hide. Oh, no. no, no. <laughs> don't, don't take it as that. But don't just give the other team easy kills for no reason. Don't overcommit on certain situations. Just play it smart. Yeah, that's the opposite of how I play. I tend to run out every single time in a straight line. Dual need that, Whatever, whenever I can. Whenever I can. Shockwave into five, pushing together on open street. And now you've seen a three-man push from Carbon. This is exactly what they needed to do to take over the TD setup. And I'm really surprised, by the way, Carbon has been able to break that TD setup. TD, it triggers down, is one of the best team at holding the top on Construct. But you know, Chris, they haven't had their full setup yet. And granted, you know, every game you're not going to get your full setup. But they were have, they were in a spot where they had Hill, open ramp and back gold so they can't really work much with that because no one can help out at the purples but what they need to do there is just push close street and get control lobby by trapping them in the middle good point there scott now here's the other question for you do you sometimes just you know kind of give up on the current hill and set up for the next one a little too early maybe because i've seen it sometimes where teams seem to not you know just lob grenades and not necessarily aggressively try and push the other team out of the hill yeah, I mean, depending on the time, of course, if there's like a minute left, of course you want to still charge, but if there's about 20 seconds like there is now, you can give up on the hill and try to bait the new hill, or you could just use that to your advantage because you know they're getting out of that hill, so you can just air straight up that purple and then come behind him as he jumps the bubble shield or do whatever he wants to do. So complicated. SK setting up for that new overshield, his teammates in the hill. Apparently the overshield is coming up much later than normal. And SK is going to warp up right behind the carbon squad as he takes down Shockwave in the lobby. And now he's going to back up Heinz, but Heinz didn't even need help. He got a dirty four shot there on Walshy. Nated now setting up for the overshield. He just picked it up for carbon. Let's switch over to the carbon squad. Sword, sword right now, back door, back door, SK. He's going in the glass. 
It's I Liam. Mean, I got the over shit. Yeah. Right. Right. See, that's what I'm talking about. Hysteria nades. Just came Hysteria. out of nowhere. Oh, 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 one, oh, one, you know what's interesting? I haven't heard a ton of smack talk out of Hysteria, even though they said that that was going to be one of the keys. You know, when Pistol was talking yesterday, it's like when Jacob gets loud, you know, we're going to dominate. He seems to be just communicating and focusing. It was, it was Pistola earlier who was talking a little trash, but they just seem to be super focused on their objective, which is winning this tournament. And in, in the first series, we did hear a lot of trash talk. JT Bravo was making lots of jokes, SK was making jokes, and Pistola, he was laughing. But, you know, it seems this game, this series, rather, they've really locked it down. They're focusing just on gameplay. Carbon must have taken it to the next level where they feel they have to just focus. Yeah. And that does happen. Coming from another trash talker, as myself, um, there's certain games where you can talk all the trash you want in the world. You can go off for 15 minutes talking trash. I mean, I've done it in the past. But then there's games where you just go in and you can't think of either anything clever to say, number one, or two, you just want to focus because you just feel like you're bringing down your team by talking too much trash. It's about finding that happy medium. Uh, main ramp and 0-2 to hill. Walsh is being taken out of the hill. Four seconds left on that bottom hill. Naden knows it, and he got stuck on the wall going for the melee. Shockwave into five, pushing from back hole. They're going to try and lock down the close side of the map. Hysteria's jumping to rockets. That why, that's why when the hill moves close to close street, you have to push back gold because everyone will always spawn there every time. So as long as you get that guy back there that will cancel that out, then they're funneled into sword or the purples. So if you're playing at 9.05, go back gold. I can't help you out. Shockwave with his solid PR takes down. I got your pistol. Now going up against SK. If you're looking at the 